Oh, hey everyone and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Lin today along with... First Mate Rakir at your service. And welcome back to No One Lives Forever, Game of the Year Edition and, well, Fan Patched Edition. And uh, yeah, this is this is the seventh stream. Let me just double check here up top. This is the seventh stream we've been doing of this game. Most of the games that we've been streaming recently have been a lot shorter than this, huh? Yeah. Though it's also in a good way, since that means we're able to get through several more. Yeah. Like, with the Shantae games up to so far, it's taken about four streams each time, and the previous Shantae was... the previous Shantae stream was the third, so yeah, we, we'll be continuing that trend. Though I think Seven Sirens might take a bit longer. Yeah, and hmm. don't forget, you have to do the bonus uh, as well. Uh, yeah, the uh, the true ending. For now, let's actually continue here, where we managed to infiltrate a harm base, looking for Doctor Shanker, and uh, yeah, we we were sent in without anything silenced. So uh, gloves are off. Yeah. Okay, that camera's off. Can we knock both of these out? Nope. Wait. Hold on a second. Hmm? Okay, if audio was doubling there, it's because Mystique, the speakers I use didn't actually turn off when I told them to. Yeah. Wait, I did not hear that on my end. Uh, well, it just sounded the... a bit odd to me, which is how we noticed. All right. Anyways, then let's continue on. For some reason... Oop. There we go. To be honest, not having to sneak around is going to make things a lot easier, but a lot less interesting as well, because we're missing all of the goon dialogue. Yeah, kinda. Uh, let's see... And as, well, as you say that, I hear call alarm outside. <laughs> okay. It, 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 it's gonna be one of those days. I play Warhammer, I got a fire a burning laughing skull, and suddenly you to decide to play I see fire. <laughs> and now, as you say, talk about sneakiness, call alarm from outside. <laughs> it's already quiet. I guess the owner was the one accidentally triggering it. Okay. Yeah, let's just get... The, let's just try and get as much progress as we can. We should be toward... Not at the end of the game, but we are getting closer to it. I'd say we're at about uh, somewhere between two-thirds to four-fifths of the game. All oh, right. Yeah. Really? Well, I, have you seen the floor? Uh, true. But still, I don't think you'd want to leave your slippers in here. Yeah. It, it is not, not in the bathroom, at least. Okay. No. Wait. I think the slippers uh, might be a prank. <laughs> so they, I think they just used the wrong thing. Is that a picture of the moon landing? Or is... We have nothing with the scope, so we can't double check. Yeah, I'm unsure. Yeah, I... It's a it's a bit too hazy without a scope to tell what the hell it might be. It could just be co something completely different with a bunch of white stuff. Let's see. Okay. I don't think we've covered most of this area. But, yeah, we're not going to find any interesting dialogue now that everyone is on alert. Yeah, oh, oh, all right. What I was going to say is, I think it was, uh, the shoes were there to prank people to think that it's occupied. That's the thing, it wasn't fishy at all. At least the stuff I tried. Uh, we had tuna, yellow tail, uh, squid, uh, some other stuff. Ugh. I'm telling you, you ought to at least give it a try. Not on your life, pal. <laughs> You're missing out. 
Oh well. More for you, right? You bet your life. <laughs> okay, talking about sushi. Then yeah, on his very short life. Oh dear. It I'll, I'll admit, I'll fully admit that uh, originally I didn't think sushi would be anything I'd like ever, but uh, yeah, you just gotta find a few things that you do like of it. Uh, yeah, no, not that. I one. agree. I, I had tried sushi. I thought I enjoyed it until I bit into the paprika. I just took over all over the all the flavor. It just ruined for me. Yeah. I could only taste paprika once I bit into it. Personally, I prefer I the more simple ones, the just simple salmon or uh, tuna. Yeah, I, I, I thought it was simple. I was, at least I was hoping it was a simple one. I just didn't know that this restaurant made a tradition to have a paprika in the middle. Ugh. Let's see. But, I think like, but from what I tasted, I feel like I would have loved it if not for the paprika. Okay, we have little lightning the li lightning pads. Why, Why the hell do I keep making uh, word mis grammar mistakes in a stereotypical uh, Chinese accent? Wait, you do? Yeah, did I, I didn't really pay attention to accent when you misspeak. Now, more, more in the way that. Uh, it's tip the yeah, stereotypically the uh, the letters are changed due to the accents, like swapping R R's with L's and such. I don't know why the hell I keep freaking doing that. Yeah. Could just be because I'm getting tongue tied. Because like I've said a few times before, I think, or at least once, uh, my jaw is way too, my lower jaw is way too small. Which means that my uh, tongue fills the thing, uh, is a bit uh, too big for my mouth. Oh dear. Uh, oh no. Now I'm a flashback for a Hallmark movie. Oh. Uh, but yeah. they, they, oh. They, there was some fancy to travel on with a skull, a dragon skull that to revive. The skull looked awesome. And the animation looked decent for the Hallmark. But then they had one designed with the rune the wood dragon. Like, this upper skull was fine, but the lower jaw was... But, uh, you know what? L look at your hand. Mm. From the side way. His lower jaw was his thumb. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's the, a bit of an overbite. Actually... Remove half the thumb. <laughs> uh. Now you see why I had a problem with that dragon design. They had a good design, but they ruined it with a ridiculous jaw. It was more like a tiny flap. Uh, and yeah, even now, after sp specific surgery to extend my lower jar, it's still too bloody small. But yeah, enough of that. To all employees, due to the fact that the atmospheric reconditioner is only sporadically functional, the third annual harm chili eating contest will be postponed until further notice. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Do we actually have a code for that? Wait. Okay, we've looped back around. I feel like we should flip that. Uh, probably, <laughs> yeah, in part because of you breaking. I, mean, I was yeah. shockling, doing shockles with my mouth full of food. <laughs> uh, leave it to Monolith to make far jokes uh, less lowbrow. Uh, uh. I, I don't know why, but I, I feel like I start to enjoy curry night jokes for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, because, they're clearly, they're, because they're clearly lowbrow, but they're put in a higher brow situation. Uh, they're told in a higher brow way. Yeah, they usually catch you off guard. I feel it. Like, yeah, I think my first joke like that might have been from Guild Wars 2. <laughs> In the vigil missions. Okay. And uh, something about the uh, we... something about the, the normal companion you had there, commenting that the the lion got the arc sewers smell like. Uh, 
Uh, there was one place that he said that it smells like uh, a tavern's bathroom on free curry night. <laughs> <laughs> okay, where the hell do we need to go? Let's see. Well, uh, I don't know this... if it... Mm, I don't think, I think it's wrong to say follow the corpses in this case as you're the one making them. Ah. My god in Himmel, you're alive? More or less. But I saw you fall out of the plane without a parachute. Oh, that. Well, someone loaned me one on the way down. Very generous of him. Anyway, I thought I'd drop by and see if you'd like to get out of here. I would indeed. If I had known I'd end up in a place like this, I never would have left Berlin. But I suppose that was part of the plan. What do you mean? It seems we have been carefully manipulated by harm all along. My decision to defect and your organization's decision to aid me were part of an intricate scheme. I have overheard my captors discussing the matter. Harm wanted my research, but they didn't want to draw attention to themselves in order to get it. So they let us do the dirty work? Precisely. I was approached by one of their agents, who filled my head with tantalizing stories of the West and the freedom I would find there should I defect. He took care of the arrangements, knowing full well that I would end up here. Ingenious. Their only mistake was to underestimate us. And now we have to get out with him. Okay. Hopefully he'll behave like the last time, but he'll actually stay out of trouble for us. Just in case, I'm dropping a quick save. But yeah, having someone else do the dirty job, do the dirty work for you, that is pretty clever if you can pull it off. Yeah. Uh, actually, let's not head towards the lightning bolts. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, hello. Oh dear. Let's better take care of this quickly. Because if they, if even one of them got a shot in on that, we would have been done for. Uh, wait, wait, what tools do you have with you? Uh, do you mean weapons or gadgets? And where did he go? Yeah, I'm wondering if you had the the stun gas or the grenade. We have the stun and the time. We could have used the time to explode, if I guess. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Found it on uh, as an alternative to just put it by the door and trick them over. Now that, that would have been more of the proximity one. Oh, oh, oh come on! They locked that down. Uh, hopefully, that also means they turned off the lightning bolts, or Shanker is going to be. Uh, Looking a lot like Albert Einstein with his hair up. They did not. Okay. Well, here's hoping he's either immune to damage or very quick on his feet. Okay. Just gotta wait for it to strike and go. Keeping up well, Shanker. Also, a fun little fact Shanker in the Dutch. Uh, as, let's, is it? Yeah, Shanker in Dutch would be Schenker, which would be like pour, as in P O U R R, like pouring a glass of water. Okay. There's still a odd bit of language trivia. Also, since we got past that, oh, I s and I quick save just as this guy comes charging. But just a bit of curious lost name. Yeah. Okay. Any. Ooh. Okay. This is open now. Oh, and he's coming off his own volition. Good. Okay. Shanker, come along. Okay, Let's quick save there, so we don't, <laughs> so we don't quick load right into battle. And okay, this is where these two were. Thank you. 
Oh dear. Hmm. And there we go. Although the rescue of Dr. Schenker was absolutely imperative if Unity were to have even the merest hope of victory, it comes at a grievous cost. There is much still to accomplish, but very little time in which to do so. That doesn't promise well. What? Um... I think you got that wrong. Thirteen hundred. At exactly nine oh two AM, there was an explosion of unknown origin in the town of Schilling, England. That's where the Baroness grew up. Well, case closed. Arrest her immediately. Scoff all you please. The source of this blast was a banker by the name of Lester Cheems. Casualties are estimated at over thirteen hundred innocent people. Their blood is on the hands of the agency responsible for kidnapping Dr. Otto Schenker from us. Until he is returned to the facility from which he was abducted, we shall continue to mete out similar punishments every 48 hours. That is all. Those figures are correct, by the way. 1,300 people. I suppose we can assume harm is capable of delivering on its threats. Indeed. Which means we have exactly two days to complete our objectives. Can we have records and research find out if this Lester Cheems ever knew Felicity Farnsworth? I suppose, although I can't see that it will prove anything. You never know. Well, I for one am reticent to implicate a respected public figure on the basis of mere coincidence. You call it coincidence. I call it circumstantial evidence. Knowing the victim of a crime hardly qualifies as circumstantial evidence. That depends on the victim, the crime, and the circumstances, doesn't it? Enough of this bickering. Send in Dr. Schenker, if you please. Ah, here you are. Thank you for joining us, Doctor. I hope your accommodations are adequate. Exceptional, thank you. Hello again, Miss Archer. Hello, Doctor. I'm sorry there wasn't time to brief you sooner but I imagine you've already heard about this morning's disaster. I have. Then I'm sure you can understand the need for alacrity in devising a plan of action. Harm has promised another attack within the next 48 hours unless we hand you over, which imposes a rather daunting deadline. How can I help? We need to know who Harm has infected with the reagent, and we need the antidote. Unfortunately, I cannot help you with the first problem. I was never told how the reagent was being used, or on whom. I'm afraid it would not make much difference, even if I had. I'm terrible with names, you see. What about the antidote? Ah, yes, that is also a problem. You see, the antidote is highly unstable, and can therefore only be produced in a zero-gravity environment. You mean outer space? Quite so. So, in other words, Harm was lying about having the antidote. Not true. They do have it. So they stole it? They developed it. But how's that possible? Harm has its own space program. That's preposterous. Not necessarily. A few weeks ago, the U.S. branch reported an unscheduled rocket launch from a small tropical island off the coast of Mandaru. Are you sure it wasn't the Soviets? It's certainly possible, although we have plenty of spies in the Soviet Union and none could confirm a launch. This is starting to sound like circumstantial evidence, Mr. Smith. Agreed, but it's the only lead we have. If it is harm, I certainly can't explain where the funding and materials are coming from. Maybe the Soviets are involved. At the moment, all that matters is that we get our hands on that antidote. Very well. Archer, your job will be to locate and infiltrate the launch facility and recover a sufficient quantity of the antidote for our purposes. Assuming this is even the right place? Yes. Understood. We'll give you a radio frequency to use in case you need to contact us. Your code name will be Foxhunt. 
Ours is Foxhound. Did Bruno tell you that story? Yes, he did. What story? When Archer was a girl, her father took her on a fox hunt. The fox got away. Fascinating, but I fail to see the relevance. In her other occupation, Archer was known as the fox. As Bruno told it, you were so impressed with the fox's escape from such a dire predicament, you adopted it as a personal symbol. Is that right? Something like that. That sort of resourcefulness would certainly serve us well right about now. What an amusing anecdote. Shall we take turns telling stories? Or shall we get back to the mission at hand? When do I leave? As soon as possible. Let's just hope I find myself in harm's way, if you take my meaning. If we're wrong about this, there will be hell to pay. Good luck, Archer. We're counting on you. Okay. Welcome oh dear. <laughs> it's likely that this island is heavily mined to discourage unwanted visitors. So we've equipped your sunglasses with a new scanner capable of detecting most proximity triggered explosive devices. When you activate the mine detector function, these devices will become visible to you, enabling you to avoid them. Using the next function key, cycle to your sunglasses mine detector function and pick your way past these mines. <laughs> yeah, this is how we would be able to dodge They're the mines. Alive, so watch your step. Really? You put live mines in here? <laughs> they close the fucking shutters in case we step on one of them. Bloody... Uh, I, I think this is a... breach of protocol or something. Yeah. Uh, but yes, harm might have its own space program. Excellent. And now we're stuck here because they took the glasses away. <laughs> there is a small but nonetheless intriguing possibility that harm is storing the antidote for the reagent at a secret launch facility on an island off the coast of Mandaru. Your first objective will be to establish whether or not such a facility even exists. If it does, you must infiltrate it and retrieve a container of the antidote. I'm actually going to do a quick search if Mandaru is even a pl real place. Let's see. Mandaru, Man Mandarin. It looks like it might be fictional. Let's see. Uh, da -da -da. Oh. No. <laughs> okay, and the fourth it, the fourth thing that pops up is the No One Lives Forever wiki with a page on the place. <laughs> okay. Of course. And I think that's a trope joke at the simple. I think I heard that name before in other spiralate things. Like it's a popular name for a secret organization island. <laughs> Okay. At least I think that, so. That reminds me, maybe one day we'll stream Evil Genius 2 at some point. Uh, the first one I have a Let's Play on, on my YouTube channel, an old one. Uh, and, but I haven't managed to get through all of Evil Genius 2 yet. Which is in, in a very similar style to this game, even though it, it turns to wacky up to 12. Oh dear, that would be something. <laughs> <laughs> okay. How, what do we get for our default? We get the spear gun with 20 spears. Oh, and sniper rifle. Grenade launcher. The SMG. They really are just they, they really are just going screw the stealth, huh? Yeah, the belt buckle, the lighter, the beret, the code breaker, they they're <laughs> and scuba gear as well. Wait, why scuba gear? I don't remember water in, in this place. Anyways, um, let's swap that one out for this one and see if we can bring along the silencer. Yes, we are bringing the sunglasses. We, we specifically got a new upgrade for it, so we're taking that. Yeah. Okay, zoom for it. Wait, does that... Scuba gear... Okay, are we not getting the... Okay, I've, everything is in, included in that, along with the zoom. Okay. 
Uh, how are we on ammo for everything? 20 spears, 50... Okay. Just got word that the sub's delayed. Good. We still haven't finished clearing out the last shipment. Uh, what's the ETA? Probably around 9 p.m., maybe later. <laughs> I could use some overtime pay. Don't count on it. Well then, don't count on anybody being here to unload the sub. <sighs> All right, see what I can do. Someone there? Ain't her legs freezing? Uh, it, it is the tropics here, so less so, I guess. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's something about the that the during the night the water is warmer. Holy. He's going to need a hip replacement. Okay, that one's up high, so it might have quite the range. Ew, Helia, you don't do, you don't do what you just did. Uh, I kind of missed that, seeing as I'm trying to focus on being sneaky here. Yeah, you, you don't only damage the hip. You probably punctured um, <laughs> his guts, which means if they penetrate, uh, penetrate uh, you pull out. The spear. He's gonna die from severe infection. And then he's he's yeah. then he's probably glad that he's already dead. Oh, he he he, he probably he realistically he would probably be dying at the moment. He's going to be dealing um, with quite a chest infection. Oh dear. I thought first you shot him in the throat. Okay, what is this way? A doorway. Oop. Okay, I thought that'd be something the other way, but apparently. Go back on shift. Five minutes ago. <laughs> Me too. Okay. <laughs> Just some goons being lazy. Damn it. Perfect timing to find that, huh? <laughs> well, so much for stealth. Yeah, and wait, didn't you leave that uh, behind? Oh, wait, yeah, you did leave that behind. You, you knew you would find more here, didn't you? Well, they, it's been one of the weapons they've been carrying the most. Uh, shouldn't you turn off the alarm? Yeah, th th this only turns it on. We need to find the security room to turn it off. Oh, come on. Gaming instincts telling me that there's probably stuff up here and being proven wrong. Nope. Stuff, stuff, stuff. Dear Mr. Caulfield, this letter will confirm the offer of security chief uh, officer with sanctimonious evil. Please let us know how soon you can give notice to your current employer. Welcome aboard. Uh, these, these names. Uh. Yeah, it's really that these names that make, makes you remember this is a, meant to be a bit of a parody. Yeah. Still serious, but uh, still just poking fun with it. Yeah. Uh yeah, it might look like you poke your fun with a super weapon, but realistically, when you think about it, still have work to do. people exploding like yeah. that from a, in a virus or whatever it was, that uh, is actually ter terrifying. Another virus, I think, a chemical reagent. Yeah, it's, it's still terrifying. It basically, you're making a corpse explode without being a corpse. Yeah, and then it's supposed to turn 
anyone nearby into bio bombs as well. Uh, Which, I think that's how they explained it. It's uh, something like that. To all employees, overtime is strictly prohibited by statute 46 stroke 3, subsection 9. Working more than you required, 82 hours may result in a pay cut. Remember what harm stands for, which we they still haven't bloody told us. Yeah, I, I would probably to ask you that earlier. But the key just is distracted. Also, 82 hours. Here we go. Uh, let's that is a full that is a full three days and eight hours oh uh, wait were the were the, the hobby workers talk about overtime yeah there we go There we go. Communications device down to all employees from building services. Each employee is allotted one desk, one chair, two overhead lamps, and three file cabinets. Do not take furniture from empty offices. These supplies are reserved for future employees. Thank you for your cooperation. Okay, at, at least they're orderly with their logistics. <laughs> yeah, the, the way he spelled it. Thank you for your cooperation it, 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 the, the last one sounds almost threatening yeah, it probably is let's see whilst that is doing its job let's take a look here Ooh. scope for the cross oh a scope for the crossbow but we Ooh. don't have the crossbow we probably could have taken it with but oh well Sure as I will be more stealthy with it. Well, we have to... Sp oh, some more ammo. We have the spear, Earth, from the spear gun. And, well, <laughs> it helped at the start. Okay. Well, we disabled the communications equipment, so now we can take the lift down and get away from this noise. Uh, hope at least hopefully it'll <laughs> it won't set off be set off downstairs as well. Oh. Yeah, be careful now. <laughs> oh, it's here as well. I I missed that before. Okay, at least we're getting out of range of the <laughs> the alarms. Uh, is real something? No, we never haven't mind. heard a single elevator music. Welp. Uh. Uh. <laughs> okay, they replaced the elevator yokes with that. It, well, we technically have some elevator music now, but it's the un very, very, very unpleasant kind. Uh, can we just restart you? Wait, 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 no. there's, there's, also, there's a ladder. Oh, yeah, but okay, it, it, it blends in a bit, <laughs> being the same I, color. I, I, I spotted it the first time you went over there. Okay, let's not shoot that. Now I already can imagine you standing there confused for half an hour if I wasn't there. <laughs> I can't tell it. Right. It, it. It seems a bit like we're walking faster whilst crouching, which is kind of defeating the point of crouching since, well, it makes our footsteps louder by being faster. Yeah. Have I heard something weird? But I heard a distant explosion in the game. Yeah, it, it, that was the, the elevator crashing down. Again? I guess. What is this? Blueprints for the proposed harm base in the Bikini Islands. <laughs> okay. You're yeah, right. That, that's, an actual, that's an actual place. 
Chris, I heard there has already been a fear about it when it comes to SpongeBob. <laughs> but apparently, I didn't see over there. Yeah, and do you know what happened in Bikini Island? Uh, nuclear tests. Yeah. I think that, from there, I think you can see what the fear is about SpongeBob is about. Yeah, I think Film Theory did an episode like that. Most likely. Okay. Ugh. Can we shoot the sirens or something? But, uh, yeah, wait, the wait, most wait. tropical place I've ever been has been uh, the Greece Islands. The Greek Islands. Yeah. The Greece Islands. <laughs> okay. All right. Wait, is he hurt under that? Hmm? Did he say hurt under the helicopter? These ruins. So be our own South America then. Oh, there's a sniper out there. Let's see. We have a zoom. Yep. Oh, wait, did I? I think I, had a... I thought he was coming at me, but I guess he there was. was a civilian. No, <laughs> okay. he was. He, he had a gun in his other hand. Okay, because this one is cowering. And it, I guess you were able to hit, even with me sneezing. <laughs> yep. But yeah, but as I sneezed there, I thought he probably just failed a shot the precise neighbor right there. <laughs> nope. Okay. Hey, Harris. What's this? Oh, is there anyone there? Oh, come on. Yeah, those faster rounds are not a pretty sight. Also, say goodbye to your nuts. Wait. Central or South American temple, jungle, spy stuff. Uh oh. Where did shot come from? Uh oh. Oh, there's a second um, one. Um, Helen? Yes. Are there dinosaurs in this game? Hmm, even if there were, I wouldn't tell you. Oh, dear gods! Okay, let's see. Up. Yeah, I guess stealth in this area is pretty much impossible with the snipers around. Oh, because I said, damn it, I forgot which spy comedy movie it was that had a dinosaur in. At least the evil guy had a pet raptor. Hmm, I'm trying to think. Yeah, is it. Was it Naked Pistol or was it someone else? I can. I know of there's. I don't know of a Naked Pistol. 
but I do know of the Naked Gun series, which apparently they're start, they're making a new uh, movie in. Uh, but yeah, since Nestle Nielsen is sadly dead, they're bringing in someone else. I forget who, but I believe there's been a bit of controversy around them. Or about the oh, casting, did, at least. Didn't know that, and... Yeah, we, we called it Naked Gun, Knock Na Pistolen. It means Naked Pistol. <laughs> okay. I don't actually remember... A, <laughs> I don't actually remember any dinosaurs in that. Then again, yes. it has been quite a long while. Yeah, and there was, there's been more than one spy comedy movie. So it makes it a bit tricky to remember which one is which. And, and well, na actually, Naked Gun is uh, <laughs> a police procedural uh, comedy. Not spy, I believe. So, yeah, I, I have no clue about what movie that might be. Maybe one of the Austin Powers, but I also don't remember any dinosaurs in that. Yeah, it was not Austin Powers. I would probably remember it was Austin Powers. Ah, oh, well, maybe it'll come back at some point, or you can just Google it. <laughs> Spy Dinosaur. So you'll probably get quite a, some interesting fan art for... Or fan art. <laughs> no, it wouldn't be fan art, but... Uh, uh, yeah, interesting art if you uh, search that. I will not be surprised. Let's see. Carlos, this is the last time you work a weekend and spoil our plans. I'm leaving you for my yoga instructor, Pasha Basmati. Oh, I hope you enjoy work, Jan. What? Well, sounds like uh, none of these harm employees are having, well, healthy marital relationships. Oh, it was ma- It was marital. Okay, no, okay, now it makes sense. It- yeah, I have, I have, I thought some other directions. I was wondering what the heck should a what the heck would a yoga instructor punish him with? Oh dear. Alabama, but my family drives me crazy. Hey, half the guys I met since I came here say the same thing. People don't realize how an unhappy family life can turn a man to crime. You sure said something now. Don't tell me we're going to get another philosopher here. It, I, I'm surprised they actually I think there was an actual Alabama accent. Okay, I'm pretty sure he should not have heard that. That or he might have just... Or his Alabama senses might have been tingling. Oh dear. Mm, but yeah, th this thing isn't... It's silence, but it doesn't mean it is absolutely quiet. Because even with a silencer, a pistol will still have about the same volume as a door getting slammed shut. Ooh. Yeah, it, it's just uh, not as loud. One of the dumbasses fell off on their own. It's one of those situations like... Uh, if you were to fire a silencer, at least you, you're unlikely to alert the entire camp or something. Yeah, something is firing explosive rounds. The hell was... There was, a, there was an explosion against this pole, it looked like. We don't have explosive rounds. I'm not even sure if those are in the game. Yeah, I, th I, I think I missed that. Oh. Hmm. How did they get across this? Well, at least one very, of them didn't. Very, very carefully. They were charging at us with guns blazing. Oh, well, that's probably how we got way more broken. Yeah. Okay. Moving on. Let's see. If memory serves... Yes. He spawned in! I saw someone spawning from thin air! If memory <laughs> serves me correctly, there is at least one or two full levels in this game. 
then I and with that I don't mean the chapters in each. There's, hmm, I, I'll avoid spoilers, but I think there's at least one or two left. Hmm. Yeah, we'll have to see because well, it's it's known that my that my memory uh, isn't the best. And yeah, that's very Mesoamerican. Let's see. I see a guy there. I don't wonder, ain't this basically a crime to do this? Have a secret base inside a ruin like this? Oop. Uh, yeah, it, it probably, it probably breaks some, uh, archaeological history law or something. Yeah, the, a, the, what is a kind of global? Like, some are more strict than others about it. And so those are, are less strict about it are usually people less liked yeah like i i wouldn't mind uh, structures recreated in the mesoamerican style and made to look you know old through oops. but don't use the original thing like that you're damaging it yeah and especially don't do like these e evil organizations do to Office of Executive Director Volkov, unfortunately, the Hair Alternate Replacement Membership Club has prior use uh, for over uh, from over three years ago. Uh, Prell and Gallup <laughs> lawyers. Uh, okay, so they're also breaking copyright law by, <laughs> with their name. Yay! Okay, just making sure that is broken. Oh, I don't think we actually broke it. Uh, yeah, let's see. Yeah. Yeah, I think, but the only time I feel like it is, is acceptable is if you're in a fantasy setting where you are likely less likely to wreck the entire rune. Yeah. Let's see. Contains a bottle of Grow It with Ginkgo Biloba from the Hair Alternative Replacement Membership Club. <laughs> oh... Okay. Wait. What? The, the, it's the door. The, the hitbox for the door is a bit bigger than it actually is. Okay, it makes sense. And I guess they did this really rather well for years to be nowadays whenever they try to do. Uh, like Aztec, Maya, and such, they make it out of sandstone. When in reality, I don't think many of them were built of sandstones, at least not the temples. Yeah, more just rocks and such. Let's, or, well, stone rock, uh, giant stone bricks. Let's see. Yep. To Prell and Gallup LLP, Executive Director Volokov will terminate the problem with a non legal solution. No further action is required. <laughs> Uh, so Volkov went after a bunch of uh, wig-wearing guys. Oh dear gods. Also, don't admit you're going, your boss is going to commit a crime in a mess in a letter to a bunch of lawyers. Putting that oh down dear. just in case. I don't remember if they put in any animal enemies. Oh, actually. Yeah, but I was suddenly getting worried for piranhas or something like crocodiles with laser cannons. <laughs> that would be more Austin Power style. And honestly, I, I, I think I'd enjoy an Austin Powers video game or 
like a, in this style that is and i think i got them you know what we should probably see if there is one but there might be one yeah probably not in 3d to my knowledge at least but uh, oop. Oh. there we go that's how it's supposed to look i think now, I don't remember anything about any Austin Power video games ever, but it wouldn't surprise me if at least one or two were made. Now, can we reach yeah. that? Yes, we can. But, but we live in an age where there's tons of games being made. But even back in the past where you knew most of the games coming out, there was still some of those you didn't, no one heard of. Yeah. Okay. There we go, and we're back to stealth, because, well, no one is alive to snitch on us. <laughs> and what that's actually that? the lock. It's the oh. lock we broke. Okay. Careful with the fall damage, because that is our greatest enemy at the moment, since it completely who... ignores armor. Who designed this? Someone who's likely about to get fired for letting a spy get in this way. To all personnel, Miss Beringer in the reception area has your free arm t shirts. Yeah, let's get the hell out of here once this is dealt with. Can I break that? Break that? Also, why the hell are they using padlocks for this? I'm pretty sure you'd want more something more secure. Come on. Here we go. Uh, okay, I was guessing that that would work. <laughs> And we have lived off. And someone's getting fired for sure now. Holy. I wonder if that boat maybe boiled the water? Uh, it would at the very least boil the surface amount, or the surface level of water. But the deeper you would go, the more shielded you would be, I presume. And, oh, well, they got fired, but uh, not in the usual way. Holy. Yeah, this is why rocket tests are dangerous shit. Yeah, wait, are they even normally done this close to the damn rocket? Uh, no. But uh, yeah, they they do have to keep things oop. They do have to keep things secretive. So it's kind of a requirement. What? <laughs> they found the corpses, but since they can't be linked to us. Oh, oh, come on. Yep, as I thought, they heard that. Oh, dear. This can't be good. 
think the heart is actually <laughs> really they were going to check on the dead after killing us i'm pretty but at least good for checking that uh, they aren't actually dead okay let's do let's do this again but this time with uh, less being surrounded hello boys there we go firing in bursts is generally still better than just firing outright especially since accuracy in this game is supposed to decrease with how long you are shooting it's just that we we still haven't figured out how to turn the blasted dynamic crosshair on Let's see. To Director Co uh, Caulfield, morale officer. Look, it's not hard at all. It's very simple. Let me try and explain it uh, so even you can understand. Project K cannot proceed under the current schedule. If you cannot understand this, see me. Milton Crumb, administrative, uh, yeah, administra administrative chief. Blew. It's like my tongue has bloody dyslexia. It's one way to describe it. Let's see then. <laughs> okay. <laughs> One of them that doesn't want to fight. And if you're not going to fight like a man, I'm going to fight you like a fish. And he he was really lucky there. <laughs> not so lucky there. Wait, okay. you, you hit him twice. First in the arm, then in the chest. Okay, I thought that first one was actually a lot lower. Like that it went between his legs. Oh there dear. Uh, oh, I, I just realized... I just realized that I forgot to set the bloody timer. But we are at about an hour now. Yep, and I was just to uh, go uh, ask about that. Okay, this is going to be tricky because we have to avoid detection. So, does that... No, detection means that we can still kill people as long as they aren't discovered. The cameras are going to make that difficult. Let's see. Um, I do have to say that I still I like it that uh, if you destroy the cameras, it, it automatically gives off an alarm. Like, like. It, yeah, that kind of makes sense. For someone would notice if a camera turns off. Yeah. I I think some games do it similarly. That they give you a certain amount that you can destroy before someone starts to notice. But they usually they will notice and they send someone to check on the camera. Yeah. Before starting the alarm. And I don't remember if this is going to be a difficult bit or not. Hmm. And I know as an impatient kid, I probably skipped this level with cheats. Okay, there's one walking right ahead of us, but it doesn't seem like their patrols take them in here. Oop. You were saying? Uh, one is over there now. Actually, if we're going to be stealthy, we might as well use the spear gun. Which seems to be the only weapon that has a uh, fall off with its height. And yeah, if, if in that the further it goes, it actually starts to fall down to the, due to gravity, since well, it's it's built for firing in water, where gravity would have much less of an effect on it. Yeah. Oh dear. Okay, let's just go from hiding spot to hiding spot, quick saving along the way. 
Uh, I presume they wouldn't be able to see the top of Kate's head here. They can still see from quite a distance, so we'll have to be careful if... Did I talk? Well, at least we know that the scientist is hostile. We need to be stealthy. They should give us more stealthy weapons. Yeah, I get I get the feeling pe uh, some people probably weren't too happy with this level right in the middle, especially when the game does oh, when the game's uh, default uh, equipment only gives you the spear gun as a stealth weapon. But it is a probably very powerful weapon at a short distance, but still. Ooh, there's another guard over there. Actually. Okay, just double checking if I collected the spear or not. The coin would have been invaluable here. Yeah. Uh, was the coin even an option to pick? Uh, Probably, but I didn't pick it. One of the behind us saw me. <laughs> okay. Okay, I still wonder if you need to take out the orders stealthily. Yeah, we can get like one of them we can get one of them under underneath the camera's gaze, I think. But there's still the one over there. And the one with the oh he oh he's okay he's doing a long walk i think but then there's still the scientists maybe hmm okay if we can oop no wait does that mean there's three here yes there's three yeah okay then killing them becomes a lot harder because unless yeah. i kill this guy actually could he be out of sight Hmm. Okay, let Let's give it a shot, killing him over there and then killing him over there as well. That might be safe. Yeah, and I I get him on show now. We will find out if the camera goes off or not. It's not. Okay, so that is a safe kill. Then we just wait for this guy to head over this way. Hopefully not get spotted by a uh, lab coat there. Uh, uh, damn it. Oh, damn it. <laughs> well, at least the second spear went into his balls. But we do know that it is somewhat viable. Let me deal with right. that pain in the neck. There was not the neck. That was the eyeball. You did a bullseye, Hillian. <laughs> well, I don't There's think he'd count as a bull, but still. No, really? Oh, damn Wait. it. Wait, did it... Did it see the... I don't know what it saw there. I think I it think might it have seen body. us. I think it's our body. I feel like we almost did it because he did not, we're not able to fight his weapon. So you almost did it stealthily, but then the camera saw you. Another bullseye. If we kill him there, the other guard is going to see him. Maybe I'm not supposed to uh, kill them. Yeah, you're supposed to avoid detection, not kill everyone. So let's just wait for both of them to be gone. Deal with you. Hopefully they don't see him from that far away. We've 
I think they have seen corpses from quite a distance before. What? Oh, they're heading this way, but we are at the... Get a regiment or two! Ah! Ooh, that was close. Yeah. Okay, I'm... Quick save. We still have the auto save at the start there. Let's see, where's the other guy that was here? Ooh. Oh, I should say there's another one coming. Yeah. If it wasn't for him, I would have shot the first guy. Oh, come. Wait, did, did we? <laughs> Dear gods. I did not know you could do that in this game. <laughs> this is a clip. And that's... Uh. And fun fact to be said before. When we compared a, a giant harpoon gun to a ballista. Apparently... When Romans were laying siege, they lost one of their ballista bolts, and when they found it, they thought they were missing. Sorry, we're out. What do you mean you're out? A shipment should be arriving on Monday. I can put you on a waiting list. Can't you get it sooner? I don't make the schedules. You don't have any? Nope. I told you. That stuff has a very limited shelf life. What am I supposed to tell my boss? Tell him to wait in line like everybody else. He doesn't like to wait in line. Is that supposed to scare me? I get threatened by guys like your boss all day long. What it basically boils down to is that they want a commodity that is only produced <clears throat> in one place. That place just happens to be outer space, which means the distribution channel is very narrow. We send a rocket up every other week, and it brings back as much antidote as it can carry. When's the next rocket? This afternoon. Not coming back till Monday? Correct. Who can I talk to about that? Whoever you want, because it's not going to do a damn bit of good. Okay, right. I was just, as I was saying, the Romans, uh... Thought they were missing some bolts and all that, so they were finally wrong. And when they went to retrieve off the battle, they found that one of the misfiring hit one of the huh? enemies, and yeah, they, they had trouble at getting the, the, the wolf spear it. out of the tree. <laughs> For it impaled someone through the shield and the armor into an oak or something <laughs> and they could not get they had to struggle to get it out of him okay, it luckily, could deep and, luckily like, we uh, have this quick save we're close yeah i, I try to remember if it was an enemy foe or one at the desert trying to flee from the battle who accidentally Ow. had a bad luck of being hit like him Holy yeah, crap. Don't, don't, don't fuck with siege weaponry. Yeah, the, 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 the ballista was more of an anti-personnel weapon. Sorry, we're out. What do you mean you're out? A shipment should be arriving on Monday. Okay, just need to listen to this, then quick save. Can't you get it sooner? I don't make the schedules. You don't have any? Nope. I told you. That stuff has a very limited shelf life. Supposed to tell my boss. Tell him to 
wait in line like everybody else. He doesn't like to wait in line. Yeah, I, I presume this being the tropics doesn't help with its shelf life. Yeah. Now we've got to sneak around these guys and the two watchmen outside. Hello. Ah! Ah! Ah, damn. I, I tried to swap ammo. Okay, at least we don't have to listen to that again. Seriously. There we go. Now the other. Yeah, this is going to be tricky. Maybe if we back up a bit. She's over here. That was the sound of a spear breaking, I believe. Okay, this time they decided that fighting was more important than the alarm. <laughs> Which is, well, good for us. Okay. Yeah, bloody good for us. Fox Hunt calling Fox Hound, over. Go ahead, Fox Hunt. There are no antidote samples on the island. Repeat, no antidote samples. Damn. However, I think I may know where I can find one. Outer space. Uh, please repeat. Over. Uh, I could have sworn you said outer space. Aye, that's what I said. There's a rocket going up in half an hour. I plan to be aboard. Negative. It's too risky. You forgot to add for a woman. Don't worry, I'll be fine. I'm not about to let thousands of people die because I was afraid to risk my neck. <sighs> Very well. Proceed as planned. Just be sure to come back in one piece. Count on it. This tower catch me her voice at times. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we're going to bloody space. Of course <laughs> insert, we are. Uh, insert the uh, you know who clip in there. <laughs> oh dear. Did he see us? Nope. Oh, but what was the actor's name again? Uh, who's acted? Hmm? Kate yeah, or that they guy? Want you why you use uh, reference? Uh, uh, Jim Cumming, was it? Yeah, I know I've seen him in some movies. Uh, yeah, actually, I think he's been in some comedy spy movies as well. And some serious ones, too. Wouldn't surprise me in the slightest. Okay. Well, I think he's one of the actors that knows how to be serious, but also knows how to be funny. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's just get over to wherever we need to go. Oh, that's just... It's the start area again. Actually, still need to avoid detection. Right, is this the same area as before? Yes, it is. That's the way we went. Have we... Found new ways to sneak around? Uh, I guess it might have been. Was that a coffee thermostat or whatever? No, no, not thermostat. Thermos. For, oh, it's called thermos. All right. Planning an official follow-up to the Paris caper. Do you blame them? That was their seminal achievement. They pulled off some interesting heists since then, but nothing compared to Paris. I agree. I'm really curious to see how they top themselves. I'm surprised Big Bad Mama agreed to do it. 
She's supposed to have a thing about always moving forward instead of rehashing old gigs. <laughs> According to Marcus, she put up quite a fight. Ended up shooting Forrest in the back of the head. You've got to be kidding me. It's true. I'm still kind of in shock. Forrest is dead? Yeah, they're looking for a new safe cracker. Why'd she shoot him? I guess he was mouthing off too much or something. You know how she feels about hired help mouthing off. How did Big Bad Daddy take it? I'm sure he was upset, but what's he gonna do? Everybody knows she wears the pants. Good point. All of the... <laughs> I do like that they have all of these other places. Uh, oh. oh, he was cowering. Uh, let's just say that he was reaching for a hidden science gun or something. I, I do love that there's just so much... It's not just harm in this world. There's so many other... Uh, yeah, <laughs> jackass is going around causing trouble. <laughs> Let's see. I would like to request a transfer for uh, a transfer for Private Bellamy from the Supply Division to the Morale Division. Thank you. Okay. And something else. Color coordinated the harm supply crates today. How exhausting! But it was worth it. They create such a pleasing color palette. I hope Director Caulfield is pleased. So I guess we know who was responsible for all the orange crates. Yeah, they should have kept it green. Says it would be... Would have been less obvious from the sky. Yeah. Hello? Okay. Where that is where the other side of there is where we started, but where do we need to go now then? We're really annoying the guy outside. What is. Oh, hello. Harm dossier Michael Knight. A young loner on a crusade to champion the cause of the innocent, the helpless, the powerless in a world of criminals who operate above the, above the law. Michael Knight? Okay. Wait, ain't that the main character from Knight Rider? Could be. Uh, wait, you know Knight Rider? Yeah. Oh yeah, they did. I've never seen it, but I do know about it and the car. I I I, I seen some, and I see a little bit bit of the of the newer one they made, which I think they only made one or two seasons of. Okay. I, I don't remember if it was a flop or something. I just I was lightly watching it and then just did not feel like it was for me. I didn't. I did not hate the original either. Just again, not really for me either. Let's see. Uh, is there any other way we? Is there just an alternate way we could have snuck in? Oh, wait, that way. Yeah, it is... Okay, that hasn't been happening too much in this game. The sp split paths you could take. Okay, still gotta avoid detection. Quick saving just in case. Do you think we should proceed with the launch? Of course we should. After what just happened? It has no bearing on this launch. I hope you're right. Just relax. I wish I could. I'm all wound up. How about a nice massage? That would be divine. Perhaps later? Oh, now we're going to have to break up a couple. Yeah, this was unexpected since... Let's be honest. You probably would not have that hint in these old games before. Yeah. No, I, I'm, I get, I'm okay with it, but I know. Of course we should. After what I know back then they could have no caused issues line. with some people. You're right. Just relax. I wish I could. I'm all wound up. How about a nice massage? That would be divine. Perhaps. No stun gas or anything like that. Someone there? 
Come on. Right. Oh, who said for love of? Who said it all there? It was a god. He was standing next to it when you went, walked uh, into the room. No, you freaking don't. Oh. Okay. Hey. Oh, you killed his lover. <laughs> yeah. And oh, this looks dear. a bit like a, a certain level from a <laughs> 007 Golden Eye. I will know. Then again, any uh, launch facility would look similar to that. Let's see. Attention all employees, the atomic flux inducers are not for personal use. Please do not activate them without written permission from your department head. Uh, what? What? Uh, did you cut off a few times there, or...? I don't think so. Or at least not on my end. Uh... Let's see. Communications, hatch B. Uh, can't make that out or that out. That's the same there. Uh, hat. No, what? Is that hatch one? That, but that's also hatch one. Uh, something module. Okay. I, I feel a bit sad now that you killed one of the couples. No way, they, they shouldn't have gotten in harm's way. Oh, oh come on! Find a spacesuit. Oh, hello there. Just in case. Heard someone, hello? Yep. <laughs> come on. Contains this stolen atomic flux inducer. Invoice for 679 X large harm uniforms and 27 small uniforms. Really? Well, I guess you're out of luck then. Also, is the is the black part really necessary? Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Rangers in space. <laughs> uh, the suit likes it. The suits look like a. A chubby Power Rangers suit. <laughs> yeah, but on bit unnecessarily pot crack. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there's a 0% chance that at least one of the Power Rangers or Super Sentai suits had a similar like that. Anyways. I would not be surprised if they did add that in future for some reason. Let's see, no rewards again. Once aboard the Harm space station, you must ascertain where the antidote is stored. Your spacesuit should mask your identity to some degree, but don't expect guards to be fooled. If you see anyone carrying a weapon, either avoid him or dispatch him. When you've retrieved the antidote, you can start thinking about how to get back to Earth. First things first. Yeah, we still need to get down again. Uh... Yeah, but it doesn't make too much sense that we can select our equipment, but let's look at this. It, oh, no inventory. That, that makes things a lot easier. The, we can only select one of these. So let, let's bring some bandages just in case. Yes, sir. Hey, can you go check up on the crew of that rocket that just came in? They haven't disembarked yet, and they're not responding on the radio. Great, probably another short circuit. That's what I'm thinking. I'd like to get my hands on the contractor that built this hunk of junk. Too late. We shot him out the airlock last month. What? How come I didn't know? It was a private ceremony. That's just plain selfish. Sorry. All right.
right, I'll check out the rocket. <clears throat> Guess it isn't a short circuit. Hello? You guys okay in here? And that's another one gone. Let's see, is anything in here? Nothing to respond with. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, now we're having a, a bit of social stealth, which I always like. Yeah, Aquaman. Oh, no, God! Not B. Was it an Ultraman Ring joke? I don't know. I don't know anything about Ultraman. And let's let's see. Prevent civilian casualties. Not Ultraman. Ultramarine. Hmm? Uh, that probably not. Like, let's see. What? We are in the. Welcome to the big arms PlayStation. <laughs> uh, really, you're just going to actively label it top secret labs. Uh, it's a miracle these people are even alive up here. Oh dear. Uh, yeah, and let's yeah, look around. The, uh, Warhammer was already a thing around this e e year. Um, yeah, since the 80s, wide. at least. Actually, around the 80s. Uh, did. Yeah, of course. <laughs> see the barmaid or something here? I think I've had a little too much to drink. Because you're starting to look good. Uh, wait. <laughs> I'm serious. I think I could fall madly in bed with you. Do you expect to get anywhere with that kind of filth? Come on, sweetheart. Don't be uptight. I'll take good care of you. <laughs> You're about to get slapped, cowboy. Why? Because you obviously need to learn some manners. Why don't you spank me instead? Uh, I think... <laughs> I think that cryptographer might have switched sides. <laughs> yeah, or relative. And also, look a bit more to the side. Uh oh. <laughs> How the heck did you get here? <laughs> he, he is a gag, ain't he? Yeah. What the I heck? Another drink. Well, your, your drink's right here. Also, it's smoking, so uh, I wouldn't trust it. <laughs> it's smoking or burning. And let's see, that looks like Madagascar, perhaps? Wait. Um. No. Wait. I... If that's Madagascar, then, then it's on the wrong side of the continent. Yeah, I was about to say we, uh, that we might be looking at it upside down, but I have no idea what all of that up there is supposed to be. It, I'm guessing it's still Asia or something. I can't yeah, identify get, it. Yeah, uh, we're not getting a proper look here. Yeah, maybe it's through another window. For yeah, now, but though, it, it did sort of look like Africa, but then... Madagascar is not only on the wrong side, it also way pushed up north. Oh, you're so beautiful. You oh. drive me mad. Oh wait now. I'm like jelly in your arms. How can I resist you? I want you now. Yes, leave ravage me. Mm. 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 
Let's just back away and leave them to their own. <laughs> yeah, they probably shouldn't do that with those in there. Also, they have phones up here. Uh, uh, yes. Uh, wait, you with it out? Uh, just how... Well, there were more earlier, but that's a bit many for a space station. Up. I think during but this they... time they were still uh, developing mobile phones or something. Oh, no, 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 no. no. I, I, I think the space station have phones connected to each section of the ship. Okay, that would make more sense. It, it had me more thinking like, are they real? Do they really have phones for allowing them to call back home? Yeah, no, they, they have something to call back to the planet. Probably just not those phones. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we're going to need to find a weapon somewhere. They're probably going to be pretty stingy with those, since, well, a small, uh, any hole in the hull would be, uh, <laughs> bad. Yeah. And, well, if, <laughs> I guess we should have expected that if they have, if they have an active, uh, if they have an active space program, that they'd also have laser grids. Well, yeah. active death laser grids and not just security laser grids. Actually, I don't know what I think we talked about it before, but Ooh. some people find it weird with the idea of uh, re uh, having to use melee weapons like swords and axes again in the future, but as Ilya said, you don't want holes in the spaceship. Yep. So if you're going to board a ship, then something like a very weak firearm or a sword on axe. So I say, you're, you're unlikely to hit so hard at the space water you cracked all the way through it. Yeah, and at least with Star Trek, I believe, it, actually, no, it, uh, uh, I was just... Uh, Star Trek Online has uh, shield generators for characters, but the actual cannon stuff does not have shields. But the thing with the shield is that any physical attacks go straight through. Yeah, the, I think that some shield, small shield right there, some species and stuff like had, but only a few. And I think they were considered a rarity and expensive. So who, who built a playground up here? But yes, Mass Effect shields have it similar. Yeah. Mass Effect shields have it similarly in that uh, melee attacks will will generally go through them because the the actual attacks are considered too slow to uh, activate this the shields. Yeah, I'm surprised how many using that uh, that style of for. We have you seen that in Stargate? And now, apparently also in Mass Effect. Uh, and I think in a few other shows as well. Or the Dune. Personal shields are pretty common. But uh, the Mass Effect ones are very different in one way, in that they aren't actively like a bubble around uh, people. They are more like a... a yeah, like a... A sort of missile defense system, but on a ma miniaturized ver uh, scale. Okay. Then and let's see. The, Do this, 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 go ahead. Big one. Uh, go ahead. Uh, in that it, it, the way it is explained in game is that uh, there's a bunch of small, I forget the word for it, all over armor in the games with a central system that. Uh, calculates incoming uh, projectiles and then, well, fires a, a counter uh, to basically negate that uh, the incoming 
Yeah, the projectile. Okay. Interesting. And let's see. I know Dune also have it. This is also why... Like, apparently... Apparently, Dune has these kind of things as well. However, there's a problem with them. Yeah. Like, if you meet someone wearing them, you can't shoot them for other reasons. Like, you will only need... You will need to use melee weapons for if you try to shoot them with plasma or laser weapons you actually accidentally will trigger a nuclear reaction yeah that is a bit of a problem a yeah ring. hence why dune people use a lot of swords the only planet they don't use shielding on is on the arrakis uh dune yeah, because but... the shielding attracts the worms Really? You're studying this? <laughs> then again, it, it would be interesting to see how the different food types react to severe gravity, or lower gravity. Yeah. Uh, maybe they're using it to grow mold? It could also work. Deep space photos of multiple meteor showers passing the narrow perimeter and heading inwards. Okay. Okay. Due to the pixelation, I always saw shower and posing. So I got to be concerned. Hello. Oh, well, now we're armed. <laughs> With a laser gun. And this is what happens when you talk about Star Trek and all the such, such shows. But yeah, only only place they, they start to use uh, firearms again is on Arachnis, the planet. See, again, simply because of the shield generators have a... draws their damn worms to you. Yeah. Uh, well, anyone who knows anything about Dune knows you do not want to get the attention of the worms at any cost. <laughs> yeah. And I, I bet that they make a survival game of Dune now. I have heard that they're making a new game. I know I played I an old game of the franchise, not the RTS ones, but I don't know oh. the name of that specific one. Yeah, I played the RTS, but the new one I seen the trailers of uh, on YouTube ads. It's a survival game. No, makes sense. And yeah, they. I think... it, it seemed like the the character in the video was planning to ride the damn worm. That's a bad idea. Uh, Stupid. The natives of the, uh, on the planet do ride the worms. Yeah, but they have had who knows how much experience with those things. Uh, actually, don't they only get to do that after uh, they get their messiah figure or something in the movies? Yeah. In military strength, they do afterward. They did it before, but I think do the, the messiah came. Then they became a basic military unit. Okay. And yeah, I remembered that we could get a uh, a security idea from the bar. And this thing is called the super atomic laser weapon. <laughs> there should be plenty of shots with that in there. Now, where is the way up again? Super atomic laser. Okay, I have to say, that is a very cringy 60s name. <laughs> it's the cell. What? Super Atomic Laser... Let's, let's see again. Super Atomic Laser Weapon. S-A-L. Oh. <laughs> we could call it Sally. Oh, no! <laughs> Uh, but I will give them credit, they did not take in with the death ray. Okay. Now that we have a security code, we should be able to get through the gate here. And yeah, hopefully turn off the security somewhere behind it. Let's see. Ooh. Did you just Try to you just shop the door? Yep. 
Okay, we can quite literally space walk and really. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Wait, this way. Wait. Why is the toilet paper in it? Where are the couples in here? <laughs> uh, let's not think too much about it. Okay. Yeah. And also, I had to say, they do this couple. I will not trust them to do that thing near boxes of mutated plants. Screams horror movie mutants all over. Yeah. Security sector raspberry. Okay. <laughs> At least they're using different words than like simple reds, blue. Yeah, such. that's Herringle, Aquamarine, something for yellow. Golden rods. Okay. Golden rod. Uh, something makes me concerned about that name, Golden Rod. That's also the name of a city in Pokemon. The statistical probability of this station being hit by a meteor shower is so minuscule it won't even compute on the electronic super analyzer apparatus. Maybe, but it sure looks like a collision course on my chart. The human eye is no match for the raw computational power of the electronic super analyzer. I should know. I built it myself. Yes, I know you built it. You remind me several times a day. But, huh? Marvin, I think I know why the electronic super analyzer can't compute the probability of a meteor impact. And why is that? It's not plugged in. Ah. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Right. Let's proceed to the escape pods in a calm, collected manner so as not to arouse suspicion. Good idea. Yeah, bumbling the phones forgot to plug it in. Yep. And one of them sounds like a. One of them sounds like a Futurama character. Like a Professor yes, Farnsworth. I... Yes, many of the people here sounds familiar. Uh, we'll have to double check. Uh, we, we took a look at some of the voice actors, but not all of them. Meteor shower? Hmm? should probably let everyone know. You really want to start a panic? Remember, there's more than 70 people aboard this station, but only enough escape pods for 20. Good point. I'll meet you on Chartreuse. See you there. Hello. Oh, don't mind me just going for a little stroll. Ah, what a relaxing day it is so far, eh? Oh, oh boy. So that's where we got that for. But they do have a bit of a point, like half of a point, in that telling everyone would cause a panic. So what did that do? Yeah, especially when if there's only enough enough for to say 20 people of 70. That would yeah. make the panic even worse. Oh. Okay, that is screwing with the laser grids. Is there another one on this side as well? Yeah, I think up to a certain point. Are, are those hovering or are they? Those are hovering. Okay, up to a certain point uh, with cruise ships and such, uh, it was standard to not have enough you know, lifeboats for everyone aboard. And I think at one point, I forget if it was, I. I think it was probably after the Titanic that it became uh, required to have enough freaking lifeboats for at least half of the people and... Yeah, I think I know what you're talking about. It, I think even it was meant to have enough for everyone, but the captain who ever built it was so confident it was on so unsinkable that they reduced the number even more. This meant that they should have been able to save even more lives. Yeah, if they weren't arrogant assholes. Yeah. It's a tragic thing. This makes me angry that there are three movies about Titanic 
they basically disrespect the World Trade Tenet incident, like, no one died on the Titanic. It was saved by a squid to repair it. Like, yeah, go uh, to hell with that. Yeah, I, I think you've seen, it may have seen Saber Spock or others uh, do a review <laughs> of that one. In these poses. <laughs> Holy. And yeah, that's actually, <laughs> that's actually piercing through our armor. Really? Yep, just, just look at the bars behind your head. That is a bit difficult now, but yeah, the red is going down, the uh, blue is not. Wait. It doesn't harm the armor, it does harm you. Yeah, it pierces straight through. Don't you want to pierce a more roof? Oh. I don't think it's piercing here, Liam. No. Um, it's more like a hammer. It's enough blunt force shock that it doesn't break your armor, but it will break your bones. Okay, I think we are only one shot away from death now. And, oh yeah, they, they're shooting lightning guns at you. That that explains it. But the army is not getting harmed. You're getting shocked. It is shock damage. Just of a different kind than I expected. Uh, let's hope that we're not in for too much more then. I'm just I'm putting down a full save here now. Okay, just gotta get through this area. Did they post guards here? Yes, they did. Wait, didn't you bring bandages? Yeah, the bandages reduce the damage that Dum Dum Rounds does, but it doesn't do anything about any other damage. Oh. And yeah, we can't oh. heal. Well, okay, I begin credit that that is kind of realistic, even though. But that basically just means you need to be more. Still, for to begin with. Pretty sure he saw me. Oop. <laughs> and so the space Teletubbies vanish. Yeah, my guess with my guess with this thing is that we are actually using a prototype of a newer version. Oh, whilst they have an old version. Also, it looks like a bloody lava lamp at the back. Kinda. I, I gotta try to figure out the initials for harm. Let's see. Holland Armored Royal Militia. <laughs> no. Yeah, it's like not that. Uh, that 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 sounded a bit like an odd uh, acronym in that way, didn't it? Royal Militia? Is, is that even a thing? I... Uh, I think not, because militias are supposed to be... Uh, set up by the people, not... any full... Or organization. How? You just spawned in right behind me, didn't you? Yep. Okay, let's Jack see. Move. Yeah. Oh. Wait. Ah, damn it, we did a loop again. Uh, hmm. Then the exit is probably that way. Let's see. Damn, damn it. Okay, at least we know we don't need to go that way now. Yep. Oh, yeah. It'll save us a shot or two <laughs> taken. Uh, let's see. Hostile. Uh, an acronym. Uh, ravaging mustaches. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I attempt. 
Let's see, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try here. Holland Armored Rat Masters. What? Did they keep going to Holland. <laughs> here we go. Uh, let's see here. What else? Oop. Hostile armored rat monsters? Okay, that was quite a snipe. Yeah, to my knowledge, they never actually explain what the hell it stands for, so it allows people to just keep continue to have fun with it. It could not be, it could even not be English at all or Latin or something. Uh, wait, uh, have you played the other uh, operative games? No. Here we go. Still took a hit. Maybe they it's also the other games. Mm, not to my knowledge, but we might see. I, I'll definitely be up for streaming uh, No One Lives Forever 2 at one point or another. But from all I've heard, Contract Jack is mm, not good. Or as we skip a yak, then. It's the last game, anyways. The... But yeah, I... you also play a different character in that. Oh, it... the shower's here. It... But it... when did did, did someone shoot you from behind? I, th I think they yeah. shot you from behind. Which means, back here... If... Okay. Still at least dodged a hit here. Okay, I'm going to keep an eye out on me spawning behind. So, quick save. I'm not seeing any targets up front. So... Still can't they, tell. I, I see what's going on. Madagascar is on, is on the right side of Africa. Probably is... The implied planet is flipped mirror-wise. There we go. Like, Africa is a wrong... Mm. And Madagascar is angled wrong. It's not even upside down. It's... A, is is mirror flipped basically? Get out! Get out! Get out! Get get out! <laughs> out! <laughs> uh, Kate, you might have wanted to seal that. Thank you. What's interesting, Annick of you? Get out! Get out! Get out! Okay, we have less than five minutes to get that antidote and get the hell out. Uh, can you put more than one person? Uh, actually, no, you literally cannot put one and more. Well, you could still, but it would probably be a less, far more, less, bleh, far less comfortable ride for anyone riding shotgun. Uh. Okay, where's that sample? Where's that sample? Nothing there. Ah, here. Gimme. Okay. Well. Uh. What? Yeah. Paid going monkey mode then. Uh, oh, this is a bit new. There we go. Oh, there, there was film in there. Also, you're going the wrong way, Kate. <laughs> Did 
Did we get the antidote? Uh, yeah, it was that big blue bowl that we got, or not really a bowl. Still. Oh. I, how the heck did I miss that? You still don't know to whom you should administer it. The next step will be the most uncertain so far. It will also be the most critical. The price of failure will be measured in innocent blood. Okay, let's go through the intro of this, but beyond that, I don't think we'll be able to do too much. Yeah. You look tired. I'm all right, sir. We've asked a great deal of you on this assignment. Under normal circumstances, we'd have a team of agents collaborating on a situation like this. Well, I wanted a challenge. <laughs> you certainly got the right attitude. Gentlemen, what have you learned? The antidote sample is viable. Excellent. Is there enough for our purposes? I should think so. Of course, it depends on how many people have been infected. We need that list of names. And we need it before harm sets another example. Where's the Baroness now? Uh, she and the Baron are on holiday at their chateau in the German Alps. Then that's where I'm going. Need I remind you that harm's next victim will detonate less than 20 hours from now? That's assuming they don't retaliate for Agent Archer blowing up their space station. Relax, Smithy. It'll take them that long to figure out what happened. I wrecked their communications, remember? Besides, a meteor shower blew up that station, not me. Regardless, this hardly seems the time for wild goose chases. Well, what do you recommend? <sighs> Look, I know the Baroness is behind this mess, and I know she keeps that list of names close to her. She's not doing this just for the money. She wants to blow these people to bits. She wants revenge. That's an amusing theory, but you'll excuse me if I'm not entirely convinced. I don't care if you're convinced. I just want to know if you have a better idea. Not at the moment. Then let me do this. If you come up with something better, you can call me back. I won't argue. That seems unlikely. All I care about is getting that list of names before more innocent people die. I don't want to sit around here waiting for some blinding flash of insight, only to discover I was right all along and lives were lost because I didn't follow my instincts. If you receive a signal from us, I expect you to drop everything and get in touch immediately. Am I understood? You can count on it. I hope you have a plan. Sure I do. I'm going to get inside that chateau, find the list, and get out. I see. And how exactly do you intend to do that? I'll improvise. Brilliant. Why didn't I think of that? Now yeah, shut up. What about the fellow that's been keeping an eye on the Baroness for us? He's just a spy. Some poor chap willing to risk his neck for a pittance and a bit of adventure. Perfect. Have him meet me at my hotel when I arrive. Are we really going to go through with this? Yes, we are. God save us all. Well, at least he stopped with the sexist comments. Yeah, but something about him. So when I when I'm turned away or towards a sound and source, uh, for me it's the it's giving the audio in the direction. Uh, is it for you the same that it's, it's either coming from one side or is it just stereo all, all the time? I I hear from the direction the sound comes from. Okay. And I presume it will be I, the same in the stream as well. Yep. Like, you, your voice is from both headphones. But in the game, it will depend uh, on where the sound is supposed to come from. Okay. So you come from the left, and we hear from the left. That's where I'm trying to face towards sounds as much as possible. And yeah, this is just the previous map with the, the motorcycle, but with that. With the scooter. Yep, these again. What the? That I must be a developer. Dinner. Yeah. Boring. I never have any fun. Oh, shut up. That's, oh, <laughs> you three have no original lines. Uh, are they trying to poke joke 
a Charlie's Angel and do nothing with them? Yeah, maybe. If your theories are correct, the Baroness will lead you right to the list of harm's intended victims. You must retrieve that list and put an end to harm before more innocent people die. Time is short, Archer. You must succeed. Also, uh, how much money does Dumas make if they can just have a, sp have a space program on the side with money that's siphoned away without anyone noticing? Or, well, it could just be that uh, the one in, in charge of the money is uh, on their take. Yeah, do uh, so far, but no, it might not be him fully. Uh, I mean, it's... I hope that he alone can do it. Very doubtful, but seeing as we couldn't identify, well, we didn't go through those uh, chat bit. But if if you go through some of the other chat options we've gone through, you'd know you'd find out the guy couldn't identify, uh, well, anything <laughs> if he wasn't told beforehand. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Tell the Baroness to locate the private gondola system. Get on the roof of the gondola car before it departs. Rendezvous with Unity operative. Locate the maintenance gondola station and proceed to the chateau. Let's see. What can we select? We start off with... Oh, a new one. Bak Bakalov Corrector. A specialized single-shot weapon that fires powerful high-explosive rounds. The Corrector is rarely carried as a primary sidearm due to, its some, uh, yeah, due to its somewhat lengthy reload, but it makes an effective complement to a small to a semi automatic pistol or assault rifle. Yeah, I'd say so. <laughs> what? Then we have... Oh, finally we have the coin and beret again. Along with the belt buckle, the lighter. Silencer. A scope for that thing. And... Let's, let's just keep the bandages. What can you tell me? Every afternoon she has lunch at a different cafe, then spends an hour or two window shopping. Afterwards, she rides the gondola back up the mountain. Does she come alone or with an escort? There are always plenty of dangerous looking men with her. What do you know about the chateau? Only that you have to ride the gondola to get there. I've heard that there's a middle landing, and you have to take another gondola up to the chateau itself. Perfect. I have a mission for you, but I should warn you that it could be dangerous. I'm not afraid. Good. Sneak aboard the gondola and ride it up to the middle landing. Scout around and find out what you can. I'll meet up with you in two hours. How will you find me? Leave a sign. Marks in the snow should suffice. Where are you going now? I want to do some window shopping. Hello, Baroness Dumas. Any sign of trouble? Well, McCoy got into a snowball fight with some kids and somebody hit him in the face. He got a bloody nose. What's your name? Hans Kirschner, at your service. You're fired. Huh? Why? Because if I were to shoot you, it would cause a scene. You take over here. If anybody slips by you, I swear to God, I'll have you frappéed. Very pleasant woman. Uh. Oh boy. But yeah, we are getting close to the uh, end of the game. I'm thinking the sure. same. Uh, let's see. It should have put down an auto save, but just in case, Alpine intrigue. Uh, yeah, he's just going off the mope. <laughs> okay. Move over here. And... Okay, let's have everything show up again. Because once more, for some reason, No One Lives Forever doesn't want to cooperate with game capture. And, uh, yeah, I've been working... Well, I wouldn't call it working, but I've been running that AI uh, art generator... Uh, some more lately, and we might be swapping out this screen's background as well. Uh, we'll just have to see how it goes. Uh, there is one thing that annoys me with AI art generators, and that is 
you know, that a lot of people seem to be feeding stuff of art into those things without the artist's permission. So some of it could be drawn, uh, could be traced from people's work without permission. So yeah, I do want to, I do want to try and minimize the use of it. Uh, but uh, yeah, until I actually commission someone for better backgrounds, it's the best I can do at the moment. Yeah, I feel like it should be a good technology for us, like VTubers and such. But due to people use it, feeding it uh, already made art from other artists, it kind of yeah, kind of jeopardize the whole use of it. Yeah, I've heard of at least one case where a, uh, an artist was having a stream and someone took a screenshot of the art in progress and threw that into the AI into an AI generator, whilst they weren't even bloody finished with it. Oh, uh, that's just rude. Anyways, let's have a look at who to raid. So, as usual, or as I hope, I hope to make <laughs> keep this usual. Swap the live, yeah, yeah, the Discord screen share to the browser, and let's have a look. Uh, worst pre-made ever are playing grounded, it seems. Uh, let's see. We have the lazy general who is streaming Stellaris. Uh, Shrimp OS is probably up, yeah, you know, only up to your, <clears throat> their pre-stream or something, since it says they're just chatting. Uh, Dugget Douglas McDog. <laughs> who we rated previously, is doing art an art stream, it seems. And then there's Pexicle, who is streaming Satisfactory again. Mm, let's see. Beyond that, we have Iggy Maid, who is streaming Old School RuneScape. Okay, I, I played RuneScape for a, a decent time, but I just fell out, well, over time as well. Uh, but <laughs> Emotional Support Author. Okay. <laughs> They're streaming Beacon Pines. Can't say I've heard of that before. Um, mm. The last two smallish ones are the Twitching, who is streaming Star Sector, and Hamster of Wrath, who is streaming Battletech. Any of those sound interesting? Uh, not really. Let's see. I'll mute the I'll mute the site, and then I'll take a bit of a peek at some of these. What is this Beacon Pines then? Uh, okay, I can't really tell too much of what it is. It could be a. It might hmm. be a point and clicker. Might be yeah. Uh, let's see. Oh, Wolf Machina is online with Minecraft, probably still working on create stuff and such. Let's see. Yeah, da, 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 da. haven't you read them before? Yep. Uh, what is this Lost Eidolons that I'm seeing here? Kevin Nye? This looks like it could be an RPG. And this one <laughs> is streaming Rimworld. Hmm. Any of them sound interesting, or shall I just pick one? Let me let you pick uh, one this time. Okay, I don't think we've, uh, I don't think we've raided uh, Alabama Ding Dong before, and I am just going to say that because I keep, I just cannot for the life of me pronounce that name. So yeah, let's raid them as usual slash raid. But before we start that, uh, thank you anyone who has been watching now or later. And uh, I hope to be able to stream again tomorrow. I have early shifts for a bit, so we will be able to do afternoon streams like this. Um, but yeah, I won't be able to stream at the weekend. But yeah, Thursday and Friday, uh, actually no, Thursday and Wednesday, I should be able to do uh, evening streams as well, because I don't have w uh, work the, uh, the day after. All right, so you had uh, two days for potential double streams. Yep, which also, which also means that we could have some rest days since if we have been doing a some weeks where we do more than the four that we go for. And with this one, then tomorrow, and then two on Wednesday, that would be four. 
and then we could have potentially three more in the days after that so yeah seven streams would be a bit much so hmm yeah same in a row will be a bit much and uh, we yeah we definitely do need a, a one of those days as a rest yeah uh i'll leave it up to you which of the days will be a rest then could be that we don't do a stream tomorrow since we already have enough space for other streams unless things get in the way again as usual uh wednesday's evening might be at risk due to swimming and stuff so yeah uh, wednesday we're... maybe is the better day to have a break day yeah uh, yeah let's let's do that we we stream again tomorrow and then wednesday we take a break yep then we have double streams yeah so more no lives forever tomorrow then shante and possibly minecraft on thursday okay that's right. a decent that's a decent schedule for now uh but yeah until then thank you anyone has been watching now or later and as always thank you as well there clear you're always welcome my friend now where's um, the hamburger <laughs> uh in the third barrel from the left oh no 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 <laughs> uh anyways uh again thank you all for watching and until next time have a nice day and until then I say people and watch out for uh, meteorites <laughs> yeah yeah they're the kind of shower you don't want to take <laughs> oh dear.